Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Arlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this air fryer, but let's go ahead and get right into this. So it does come with a user manual right here. And then on this side, it has like a bunch of really good looking recipes that you can make inside of this. Just like a bunch of recipes. So let's go ahead, get right into this. So they have a quick, like a quick reference guide up here. So it says that this is hot, do not touch, do not fill this up with oil because it is not a deep fryer, it is an air fryer. Um, this lid, don't try to take off this lid because it does not open right there. It has a button right here which you're gonna push. I did already put this in here, but when you're cleaning it out, you just take this out to clean it. And that's just gonna keep everything from touching the very bottom. And then you have your menu, temperature button, power button, time button, start and pause button. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so I'm going to be making um, some chicken wings in here. So I'm gonna start by plugging it in. And you can see you have your power button and it has fries, chicken, seafood, bacon, steak, veggies, or dehydrate, so all those different options. You have your preheat, shake, bake, warm, and then you have your temperatures and then your time settings right there. So let me go ahead and get my chicken wings. So today I'm going to be frying up some chicken wings to see how it does. So I'm just gonna open this up. Now I did already oil these, but I do wanna spray the inside of this. I'm just using some olive oil because I like to be as healthy as I can. Spray a little bit of that in there. And I'm just going to place these all in here. So I put seven in there and I could probably put a few more, probably like another two to three. And then I'm going to put it on chicken since that's what we're gonna be cooking. So that's gonna put it at 450 for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put on and it'll tell you when you need to shake it as well. It's very quiet, which is really nice. I have another one and it's way louder than that. This is like really quiet, actually. So you hear that beep, so that means to go ahead and shake it. And then it's going to start again. Okay, so this was not done. As you can see, when I squeeze, blood still comes out. So I'm gonna cook them a little longer. Um, it did cook for 15 minutes, but it is not done. So I do not wanna be eating raw chicken. So I'm gonna cook it in, cook it for maybe 15 minutes longer. We'll see, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so now I put it on fries some tater tots in there that I'm going to be making for my kids. The chicken came out perfect. I did put it in there for like another five minutes and it was really nice. It's crispy in here. Super delicious. Then I'll put my sauce on them in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, the tater tots are nice and crispy. I have one more and then I'm going to just heat up some chicken nuggets for my kids. And this thing is amazing. 